My name's Orion, and I'm afraid. But I'm most afraid <sighs> of the dark. Ta -da! Is it me or am I more excited about this than you are? Orion and the Dark came up with a lot of challenges for all the departments uh, in animation, especially for the look day, uh, texturing and lighting. Uh, we have to work together to deliver uh, the kind of requirement uh, came from the client. This movie is very special because for particular, uh, the look of the show is pretty different than any other show we have done so far. It's a kind of like watercolor look with a uh, illustration uh, feel onto that and a lot of uh, entities uh, with uh, different requirements. It, it, was, it was really uh, amazing to collaborate with all the departments especially effects and lighting and we have to do a lot of R&D to find out uh, the requirements and to fulfill that we have put a lot of effort uh, from all the departments to get that done. We have a 2D toon line which has been applied on a 3D environment. In this movie we have uh, many of uh, entities which we face day to day like uh, whatever the insomnia, uh, the quiet and the dark. These are all the some, some dark is one kind of a character, some extreme darks has to be handled and sometimes it is the light character, extreme brightness to be handled in the uh, frame of your shot and that is something which is like very... So all entities are the most special and uh, we have worked very uh, closely how uh, concluding that kind of a uh, look development, what, rec what is a uh, requirement from the director as well. And, uh, most of our team uh, has animated series for most of their career and it was a challenge for us to quickly switch over to you know feature because it's a different workflow altogether. So we, we encouraged our team to be you know more, more open about ideas, to come up with ideas. We would brainstorm with them, encourage them to you know uh, do their own acting references. And uh, we relied a lot on that because uh, the, the need of the show is to be uh, true to the emotions and uh, having our own acting references help us in, in you know, feeling the emotions better. So yeah, that helped us immensely in, in, in crafting the uh, acting for this show. In this movie, uh, we, we have to deliver a very subtle acting for the human characters and plus they have very fascinating entities to animate. So that was quite different from uh, my past experience. I really like uh, to act out uh, the shots for myself and for my colleagues also. And by the end of the movie, I kind of felt like I am one of the uh, character like Hypesha or Sally because I was shooting so much for especially for those, uh, both the characters. So I was kind of liking the process. Other than uh, dark, I think uh, the entities were the uh, other, rest of the entities were the fun part. So each of them had a different personality and a different kind of effects related to them. That was uh, uh, too much uh, uh, of, of uh, like enjoyment working on those because uh, each each one each one was handled by a separate artist. So uh, they have made s specific uh, effects uh, uh, elements for the, those particular entities. Uh, we were able to match it exactly to what uh, uh, the DW uh, uh, creatives uh, wanted. So that was a really amazing feat which we are able to achieve. Other than that, uh, there were a lot of uh, challenging sequences with uh, FX. Uh, but uh, when it comes out, I think uh, everybody will be enjoying those. It was like uh, heavy intensive sequences are there. Orion and Dark, like, we have a lot of like beautiful uh, details added to that, especially if you see the trees, the tree leaves and uh, the edge breaker for the characters. All those things are like uh, really interesting and I, I really believe like uh, audience will be enjoying all this, these kind of like small, small, beautiful uh, new things what we have added for this show. It's going to be uh, really a visually stunning experience for the audience. I can relate with quiet character, the one of the entities because I, I'm, I don't have very loud or heavy voice so most of the time when I was talking to someone, they can't even hear me. <laughs> so I was kind of relate with the quiet character. 